Welcome to growing your own food in your own backyard. And if you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing and don't forget to hit the like button. This is part two of germinating bell pepper seeds in eggshells. The reason why I like this method is it allows my seedlings to get a jump start on getting calcium into the root system. I have, this is my second year doing this, and because bell peppers do have a tendency to get blossom in rot, I do like to give my seedlings an extra uh, start and an extra boost on getting calcium in the root system. So as you can see, I have already up potted one of the bell peppers, and I've already a pot at this one. Now as soon as I get through with a potting the um, seedlings I do like to give it a little fertilizer because it does have its true leaf right here. Those are the true leaves. These are the baby seedling leaves and those are the true leaves. So I'm going to, I have started the process and I'm going to finish it. So in this particular case, this eggshell, look at the root system on that. Isn't that impressive? Now this eggshell has one, two, three, four seedlings. So what I need to do is select the best seedling and thin it out. And it looks like that this particular seedling has two true, true leaves. So I'm gonna go ahead and thin out these seedlings. Really nice root system. There. So I've already selected the strongest seedlings, got a good root system. So now what I want to do is just crush the egg just a little bit like this and set it inside the pot just like that. And I'm going to go ahead and backfill the container. And I will continue leaving these seedlings, seedlings in this container. I do believe I up-potted the seedlings in, in a pot container that will last until about, I would say mid-May, when I can go ahead and plant these outside. Denver Metro does have a tendency to get some night temperatures that can drop below 60 degrees. And in my zone, you have to have nighttime temperatures at least 60 degrees or above. Now I'm going to go ahead and feed it with this type of fertilizer. As you can see, it's bur burpee organic tomato and vegetable and everything I do is organic. And so I'm going to go ahead and sprinkle fertilizer on it. And again, I do that because it already has its true leaves. So let me do one more to show you the process on how to up pot the seedlings. Now this one only had one seedling and you can see it has its true leaves right there. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just crack it like this and just set it inside like that. And again, I'm gonna backfill it. Uh, 
I'm gonna put these back under my grow light because it's still too cool in Denver Metro Zone 5B to put them outside. There, so I've already up potted this one. And again, I will be fertilizing this as well. And I wanna make sure that this one here is the orange bell pepper. So I'm gonna set this aside so I don't forget. Now, and here's another one where there was a lot of seedlings that came up. And again, I need to select, look, look at the root system on that. Isn't that awesome? And it, I have pierced a hole at the bottom. So there's the root system. And now I'm gonna have to select the strongest seedlings. And what I'm seeing right now is This is the strongest one right here. So I'm thinning it out. Ooh, this one doesn't want to cut. There. All right. So again, I'm gonna go ahead and just crush the egg like that. Set it in the center. It's got a good root system. It's ready to be repotted up. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, add soil to it. And if you notice that all of these bell pepper seedlings do have their true leaves in and had a strong root system. I will go ahead and just sprinkle a little fertilizer on it, like that. And I'm gonna give it a little watering. and put it back under my grow light. So this method again is by far one of my better methods of ensuring that my bell peppers do not have blossom uh, end rot because the roots are getting the calcium from the eggshell. They will, the, the eggshells will continue uh, uh, going through a um, breaking down and given the soil the calcium it needs in order to get a good jump start in calcium intake. So there you have it. I'll continue with doing the rest of the eggshells and I'm gonna end up with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different uh, bell peppers, yellow bell peppers, and of course, the um, orange bell pepper and I need to put this over here because these are the orange bell peppers and I need to make a little more more tags but I wanted to share with you the next steps to growing bell pepper seedlings and eggshells and how to replant repot the eggshells in a, a, a pot and making sure you're getting your true leaves and fertilizing it and hopefully in the next month i'll be able to put them outdoors thank you for watching and don't forget to hit the like button